Well, today is Mission Mongolia Sunday, and uh, I'd like Brother uh, Joel Martin to come up at this time. We have a little five-minute video uh, of his son, uh, or their son, Miss Hannah. Uh, they're in Hatgal, Mongolia. Now, Mongolia, you need to look it up on the map. It's out in the middle of nowhere between Russia and China, and uh, where they minister is about 13 hour drive from the main, the main <coughs> capital city. Uh, but it's an amazing place you're going to look at this morning. And uh, brother, could you just give us a word? They're, they're going to Mongolia this week, is that right? Yes. What day are you flying out at? Flying out Wednesday evening. Wednesday wow. evening. And I want, the, we want to have prayer for these this yes. morning. But I want you to be uh, praying about them, thinking about them, uh, going for basically the whole month of uh, August. And we'll be building uh, at the church camp there. And you'll see some photographs of that in just a wee moment. Brother, tell us, give us a wee word. Well, I'm sure thankful to be here this morning uh, uh, with all the issues we've had traveling last week and all. Just uh, really appreciate y'all's prayers and uh, thankful to be here. So a little bit about the work in Mongolia. Uh, it was established by a senior missionary, Mickey Kofer, uh, around 20 years ago. Um, and uh, then they were able to establish a church in the little village there and that is now uh, turned over to a local pastor and they're really focusing on the outreach through the the uh, youth ministry youth camp every summer and uh, uh, hand picking out of those uh, young men that, that are saved out through the youth camp through the youth ministry there uh, to go uh, to be trained to take the gospel back to their hometowns and, and surrounding areas and so uh, uh, the um, uh, there's one other missionary family that's there besides uh, the senior missionary and my son and his wife who uh, uh, arrived over there full-time last fall I think uh, let's see that was September I believe last year so um, uh, we were over there in uh, 2018 and uh, helped them actually build the dorms for the youth camp. And you'll see some of that on the video. Um, and uh, uh, my son has been uh, helping them regularly from about the beginning of, of the time they established the youth camp in 2013. He was 17 years old, and I think he's been there every every time there's been camp since then. So I've uh, really been involved in the, in the work. And then, of course, last year was able to finish raising all uh, his support. He was married uh, uh, just coming up on two years ago now. So, um, but, uh, so you'll see a little bit, um, a little bit about what's going on there in a minute. Um, uh, the pole barn that we're going to be building is, uh, is uh, for the purpose of freeing up space for the ministry, for the training and that sort of thing. He'll talk some about that on, on the video. Um, while we're there, I'm hoping to be able to give you some progress reports on Facebook. So if you're not friends with me on Facebook, just uh, send me a friend request and I'm going to try to post at least every few days while we're over there, a little bit of progress and maybe uh, hopefully have a chance to post some videos of what has happened over the years in the past that we've been involved with. Uh, with the mission there as well. Um, there's, uh, there's a photo album that my wife has put together on the back table there and some prayer guards for my son and his wife as well. So if y'all have any questions, yeah. Seth, I think we're ready to see and, that. Uh, now, of course, you're going over and um, you've got one other guy going with you. Yeah, one other guy. So Because so, uh, he talks about the team that you're bringing yeah, over. Yeah. The team is one guy. <laughs> I yeah. feel kind of bad about that because I wish that um, the we, we could have brought some, sent somebody with you yeah. or went with you ourselves. Um, but and when you see the, the dormitories that um, Brother Joel built back in 2018, absolutely wonderful. And I want to also make the other connection that uh, Brianne, who, which is their daughter-in-law, uh, Jeremy's wife, uh, she is the daughter of, in the family where Erika uh, is ministering with that family in, in, <clears throat> in Kenya. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, so anyway, they're a lovely couple doing a great work and it's an absolutely beautiful place. Um, but I want you to be praying especially for, and we're actually after the video, I want you to come back up. We're going to have prayer for you 
uh, as you basically are going out. Uh, it's a long, long way away. It's a very, I wouldn't say it's a very dangerous thing, but it, it, it could be dangerous. And so we want to just really cover this dear couple in prayer as they go. So let's watch the video and then we'll have prayer for you. Hello, my name is Jeremy Martin. My wife and I are missionaries here in Hatko, Mongolia. And I just wanted to take a few minutes and give our supporters a visual of what God is doing on the ministry property here. Uh, mainly just me walking around with a cell phone showing the different buildings and what God is doing in those buildings as well as what we hope to see God do in some of our buildings in the future as we develop the ministry here more and more. So I hope you'll take a moment and enjoy this video, but also use it to pray for us. Pray that God would send in the funds to finish this property, but pray that God would do great things uh, in the property here. We just finished up with youth camp. I'll talk more about those facilities in a moment, but just to give you an idea, we finished with youth camp yesterday and we saw 48 souls come to know the Lord as their savior just in the last week. And we praise God for that. Those are 48 souls that testified to accepting Christ as their savior out of our 93 campers that came and we're on this property through the last week. So pray that God would continue to do great things like that through our property here. And I hope you'll just enjoy this video and also have a bit more of an idea uh, and a visual of what God is doing here. Now I wanted to share this drone footage with you very quickly so you could get a general layout of the property. Uh, this building in the bottom right hand corner is the men's dorm that we use for youth camp. And then as you can see ahead of that is our stone building that serves as our chapel, kitchen and dining room. The long building in the middle, uh, we call it the factory building. This is our print shop as well as our student center uh, and uh, a rainy day free time area for the Youth Camp and Leadership Training Institute. The building just on the far side of that is our sports center. And then the ladies dorm in the bottom left hand corner now uh, that we use for Youth Camp. The rest of the buildings on the property are various staff housing and uh, we work out of them for different aspects of the ministry. Um, but the property was built by the Soviets, uh, I believe around 1934, and was initially uh, used as a wool factory. And that is the reason we call it the big building the factory. It is the main building on the property. Uh, but we are so thankful that God has given us these 12 acres now that we are able to use to share the gospel with Mongolia and the rest of the world. The next building I would like to look at is our dormitories here on the property. We have two of these buildings here, uh, one on this side of the property this serves as our girls dormitory and the other one that is on the far side of the property this serves as our boys dormitory that we use uh, for our camp here my dad was able to come and visit Mongolia in 2018 and was able to build these buildings they have been such a blessing we have uh, eight rooms in each building about uh, 112 feet long if I remember correctly each building is we can house 112 campers total 128 people so 112 campers with 16 counselors in total, uh, one building about 56 campers, 64 uh, people in total for each building. Now I wanted to add this part of the video in, especially for Calvary Baptist Church. I want to say thank you so much for uh, your support for my dad as he's coming over here to help us in uh, just a few days. We are so excited for his trip. I hope this video has helped you. I hope you can see the importance of the storage building that we're building and uh, the need to clear out the factory building and the, the opportunities that that building could provide us uh, to share the gospel with the community, with those that come in for the youth camp, as well as help us prepare people to plant churches all over Mongolia. So I hope that you would pray for us as we continue in the ministry here. But also, uh, I hope that you'll pray for my dad and, and his work crew that's coming in to help us with this uh, pole barn. Uh, so I'll show you now where that uh, pole barn will be built here uh, in just a moment. This is the location, and uh, to give you an idea of where it's at compared to the rest of the property, I'll swing around here. You can see the sports center there, the, uh, the dormitory on the left, and then our large factory building here on the right. 
We certainly look forward to my dad's crew coming, but thank you so much for the prayers as they come. And uh, you can see the piles of wood here. We are preparing uh, some of these are older piles, but these are all here for this pole barn. We have a lot more stored in, uh, in and around the property and other buildings. So pray for the crew, pray for the work, that it would go very quickly. We are so excited about it and what it will allow us to get accomplished here on the property. So thank you very much. Hope you'll have a wonderful Sunday. other uh, developments at the camp. Now that video actually was 15 minutes long and we had to reduce it to five minutes. So there's a lot more information there. But what they're going to be doing is building that pole barn. And so all that stuff in the factory building comes out and then they're going to renovate the inside of the factory building. And so for the minutes, it's, going to, it's a great, great thing. If you guys would just stand right here, face the congregation, we want to just pray for you, Brother Joel, as you go. We know it's a long, long way. And, and when they get off the plane, it's still about another 13 hour drive. And I looked at the, the, the country that you're going through there, and it's like the, it's like the face of the moon. Um, and so it's a very, very long, long way away. I know that you'd be glad to see Jeremy and uh, Brianne, but um, we want to pray for you. So will you pray for them and pray with me as we pray for them as they go. Dear Father, we thank you for the Martins. We're grateful for their commitment to you. And we're thankful, Lord, for, for Jeremy and for Brianne. We pray, Lord, that you will bless them and their ministry. Thank you, Lord, for these uh, 48 campers that trusted Jesus Christ as their Savior. We're grateful, Lord, for how these nationals will go back to their own villages and towns to spread the gospel. And many of these young people will be pastors of those works in the days ahead. But, Lord, we pray for Joel and Hannah. We pray for their health, Lord, that you'll keep them healthy. Uh, we pray for Hannah's dad, who is not well, and we pray for, uh, for Joel's dad, who's not well. And Lord, we thank you that you brought Joel through that accident on Monday, and we pray that you'll help with all of that, the need there. But Lord, we pray that you'll give him a safe plane trip, uh, a safe uh, trip by car uh, to uh, the work site, and Lord, just give them the strength to be able to build that pole barn, help the, the nationals there to lend a, a hand, and Lord, that they'll have everything that they need, the supplies and the work and the health and the strength to be able to accomplish the purpose. And Lord, that you'll bless that ministry in a, a, such a great way. And Lord, help our church to be involved in the days ahead. And maybe even some of us will be able to go in future years uh, to help in the renovations of that great ministry. So Lord, would you put your hand and keep your hand upon the Martins, Lord. Bless them, keep them safe. And may their trip be profitable for you. We ask these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother. Amen. Amen. So thank you so much. All right. Well, Brother Jeremy's going to come with the announcement.